Hi, this is Jeff Guillet with the EXPTA blog. Today I'm going to show you the server that we built for this article. It has two USB ports at the top with an audio out and a microphone in jack with a nice cover to cover it up to, for protection. We have a DVD-ROM burner, a multi-card reader, and it's all in a very nice looking case with a uh, handle on the top that makes it easy to move it around. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And one of the first things I want to show you is the BIOS. The BIOS is uh, made for ASRock by American Megatrends. And it has some really neat features that I've never seen in other BIOSes before. So on the first screen, we can see information about the CPU and RAM and how much it's installed. It's got 32 gigs of RAM, uh, Intel Core i5-3470S CPU, um, and that's uh, quad-core. Uh, one of the neat features is like the system browser. System browser pulls up a picture of the motherboard, and if you hover over some of the components, it gives detailed information that's live on this uh, particular motherboard. So we have uh, information on the CPU, we have information uh, such as the speed and latency on each stick of RAM that's in here. Uh, you can hover over any of the slots, gives very detailed information about each one of those things. On the SATA connectors, we can see which drives are connected to each SATA port. This has four SATA 3 6 gig connectors, which is really great gives a lot of expandability. And then two SATA 2s. I have the uh, DVD-ROM plugged into the SATA 2. You can also see a view of what's on the back and you can tell what objects or items are plugged into each one of the jacks. So that's, that's kind of unique and I like that. Uh, there's other settings for like overclock tweaker uh, for overclocking. I'm not doing any sort of overclocking on this. It's plenty fast enough, and I'm favoring reliability over speed. Uh, in advanced, it has another nice feature, is uh, you can actually update the BIOS over the internet right from the BIOS. It initializes the drive, checks for a latest version, downloads and installs it. We have a hardware monitor that tells you the temperature and speed of the fans. Boot for uh, setting up your boot order and security. Out of the box, this uh, motherboard had all the settings right on. It's automatic for just about everything. No tweaking was involved. Really nice, simple uh, BIOS to work with. So let's discard these changes and start it so we can see how fast it boots up. So we're running Windows Server 2012 data center edition. This is a Hyper-V server. You see the uh, splash screen for a few moments and then we get a desktop. Very quick, under 10 seconds from uh, off to running Windows. It's great. Uh, tremendous amount of speed. Super easy to work with. So we've got a couple drives in here. Actually we've got more than a couple. We have three. We have a uh, 128 gig C drive that's the operating system and it holds the binaries. We have a two terabyte storage disk which holds mass storage for VMs, ISOs, uh, music, whatever you want to put on there. And then uh, we have another 250 gig drive that is also an SSD drive, a Samsung 840. And uh, this drive is used for active VMs put uh, VMs on, on there, they're the ones that we run on a regular basis, and those will run super quick. Let me give you a demo of that. So what I have is uh, two Hyper-V VMs. They're both uh, Windows Server 2012. The one on the left is running off the hard drive the regular mechanical hard drive, two terabyte hard drive that's in here. And this one's running off SSD. So let's start those guys up. Both at the same time. And uh, this will give you an idea how fast the SSD is for hard drives, uh, for VMs.
I've already got a desktop. It hasn't even gotten close to it on the, the hard drive version. We already got server manager running on my VM. You can imagine what this would do for any one of your, your lab machines that you want to run on a regular basis. It's like running on real hardware. It's faster than real hardware. Most real hardware that I work with with customers. It's just amazing. We still don't even have uh, server manager up on the uh, hard drive version. So just a tremendous amount of uh, speed and performance. This is by far the best investment that you can make for yourself. Uh, for $1,000 or less, you can set up a system like this and do all the things that you need to to improve your career and your technical understanding of products that are out there. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, keep reading. Thank you. Bye.